Not only is Hotel Jerome a stunning luxury hotel located in one of the world's most desirable mountain towns, but it's also known for its frequent ghost sightings. According to staff members, mischievous ghosts are known to cause trouble particularly on the third floor. However, one spirit in particular strikes fear into the hearts of those who encounter it. In 1936, a young boy drowned in the hotel pool shortly after his family's arrival. Since then, the water boy has been spotted by guests and staff members, often appearing soaking wet or shivering with a towel. His presence leaves behind wet footprints in the hallway, adding to the eerie atmosphere of the hotel. Not for the faint of heart, Phantom Canyon Road is a detour off the Gold Belt Tour Byway and the former route of the Florence and Cripple Creek Railroad. The drive itself is thrilling as the narrow, unpaved road climbs 4,000 feet in elevation, twisting and turning through the eerie mountain tunnels and the centuries-old ghost towns of Wilbur, Adelaide, and Glenbrook. As you near Cripple Creek, you may spot the specters who give the road its name, particularly the ghost of an uniformed 1890s prison inmate who was spotted walking the railway days after he was executed. Hotel Colorado is widely regarded as one of the spookiest places in the state and for good reason. Originally constructed as a hotel in 1893, a recurring theme among haunted locations, the vast building served as a hotel, hospital, prison, temporary White House, and even an alleged crematorium. During World War II, over 6,500 patients were treated at the U.S. Naval Convalescent Hospital, which was based there from 1943 to 1946. The hospital served Navy soldiers held prisoners in its basement brig with numerous ghostly encounters attributed to, to those who passed away during this period. However, there are also several reported ghost sightings of former hotel residents, strange women, and even the hotel's founder. In addition to these, there are typical signs of hauntings such as flickering eerie sounds, lights, and physical phenomenon. There's no way to avoid this one. The Stanley Hotel is one of the most famously haunted spots in the world thanks to it being the supposed inspiration for Stephen King's The Shining. The hotel was built in 1909 by Freeland and Flora Stanley, who moved to Colorado in an attempt to alleviate Freeland's tuberculosis. Frequent ghost experiences include the sound of a piano and the keys of the grand piano in the ballroom moving independently, as playing the piano was a favorite pastime of Flora. Room 401 supposedly has a haunted closet where a man has been standing. Room 217 is supposedly haunted by a housekeeper who will help you unpack if she likes you. Room 428 is rumored to be haunted by a friendly cowboy and several female guests have claimed to be woken by him kissing their foreheads.